welcome to the SID Instant EFT WooCommerce instruction video. Here we're going to download and install the SID plugin for WooCommerce. Firstly, you're going to want to go to the official SID Instant EFT Git repo. Then you're going to scroll down and navigate to the releases page. Next, you're going to download the latest version of the plugin, which is 1.0.0 at the time of recording. Here I've extracted the zip and I've opened up the folder and inside of the folder I've got my instructions and I've got the plugin. If I open up the instructions, I'll be able to see the steps that are required. We're going to run through these steps together, but focusing on the automatic installation instructions. The first step is to log into the WordPress admin panel, which we're going to do now. Next, we're going to go to Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin. We're going to click Choose File. We're going to select the SID WooCommerce plugin file and click Open if you're on a Mac. Then we're going to say Install Now. Then we're going to click Activate Plugin. The plugin is activated. Now we're going to follow on with the next steps, step 4 and 5 below. For step 4, we have already activated the plugin, so we don't need to do sections A and B, so we can start with section C. So for section C, we're going to click on the settings link under the WooCommerce menu item, then the payments tab, then the SID Secure EFT link below the tab. Please be aware that you do need your store to have the South African Rand as a primary currency to use SID Secure EFT. Then we're going to update our SID Secure EFT account details and press the Save Changes button. Under WooCommerce Settings, we are now going to go to the Payments tab. We're now going to go to SID Secure EFT and click Manage. And here we're going to enter our details. So you're going to get your SID Secure EFT merchant code from SID, your username and your password and then your private key. You're going to enter these details and then you're going to click Save Changes. Next is step 5. We're going to log into the SID Merchant Portal. This link might change from time to time, so just refer to your latest instructions and your zip. But for now, it's this link over here, merchant.sidpayment.com. We're going to enter our login details going to go to account settings we're going to go to buy a return URL we're going to enter in our URL we're going to say yes redirect the buyer back to my website after payment here we're going to put in our site URL in the place where it's requesting us to we're going to click the request button then we're going to do the same thing for the merchant notification URL so this should be the same URL if you get an error, you can also email the support team and request an update that way manually. And that's it. So it should now be available as a payment method on the checkout page.